Yes people, hope everyone's good, it's your boy Severe Prod and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook up a dark simple UK drill beat in FL Studio. This one's going to be lit as always, make sure you stay tuned and if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway enough talking, come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up. Welcome to the video. Like I say, today we're going for a dark, simple UK drill beat. I'm going to be giving you guys some real nice tips and tricks, especially when it comes to the drums. But let's waste no time. We're going to jump straight into this one. You know the vibe. I've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, I actually jumped into Pandora and I went over to this pad space preset. For the effects, I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a tiny bit of low mids. I've got this vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turn down to around 22% and I've also got this Effectrix which plays a stutter note halfway through the bar. For this beat we're working in 142 BPM and I'm over in F minor. Fairly basic pattern but this is what we started off with. For the second melody, we actually jumped into Nexus. I went over to the piano folder and we ended up grabbing the Nexus Grand Piano preset. For the effects, I've actually got a double half time on this one. This basically pitches and slows the melody down at the same time and it adds a little bit more of a darker feel. I've got this EQ taking out some lows and highs, once again, dipping a few low mids and raising a tiny bit of the mid section. And I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb, this time just a little bit. We've got the mix turned down to around 11%. Once again, real simple pattern, but this is what we came up with. And for the final melody, we actually jumped into Expand and I went over and grabbed this synthetic recorder preset. For the effects, I've got another EQ taking out some lows and highs, this time raising quite a few mids. I've got a vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turned down to around 20%. And I've got an Effectrix which plays a reverse note this time halfway through the bar. Like I say, everything's nice and simple, but this is what we came up with for that one. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. That's sounding nice. It's sounding real dark, but it's real simple at the same time. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time. We're going to start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm going to go in and grab a counter snare. You know the vibe. We're going straight into the Viper MIDI kit as well. I think I'm just going to go and speed this one up a little bit. Sounding nice, I'm gonna start adding in some drums. So I'm gonna grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just gonna get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with. And for this beat, I'm gonna be using my Heat Space Volume 2 drill kit. This is just dropped on my website. So if you wanna go check it out, feel free to have a look. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've got a clap lead with a main snare and I've got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically it just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we came up with. <laughs> Oh, that is sounding nasty. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time once again. We're gonna get straight into the 808. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, that is sounding tasty. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna add in a kick and we're gonna make the 808 punch a little bit harder. Hey, that is sounding lit. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat. So we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've added a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these little beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and basically it just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. And finally, I've added in my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. Severe pride. Hey, <laughs> nice little breakdown, and then straight back in. This one is sounding too sick. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.